Some of the popular uh, use cases that uh, NiFi is able to solve uh, for nowadays is uh, first is converting a large JSON file to CSV. So, uh, how do we convert? I mean, uh, what according to you uh, would be a good use uh, use case for? Uh, I mean, good implementation for a use case like this, converting a large uh, JSON file to CSV. So. Uh, let's say uh, we are using we have to use nifi for uh, this particular case so for this particular implementation if let's say we are using nifi so first thing what we will do we will get the file which is very simple using a get processor then uh, after that we'll do a uh, there is a processor called split json so we'll use that split json processor and then uh, we also want to evaluate that the json's are uh, like the JSONs are proper or not. So there is a JSON checker like kind of these things. So we'll use an evaluate JSON uh, path. And after that, uh, if we want to change any attribute, then we can change the attribute. And then uh, we'd uh, convert JSON to CSV. There is a processor here, which converts JSON to CSV. And then we'll put the file either in SGFS or wherever required. So uh, the very particular processor that we are using here is two of them. One is convert JSON to CSV, which is already present. And second one is uh, in order to verify the JSON, uh, we'll see that there is a processor to evaluate that if the JSON is correct or not. Okay. Then second use case is uh, visualize patients complain. I have used just uh, a get file which is, uh, I'm assuming that the J large JSON is already present. But uh, if you, if in a case where you want to get it through Mongo, then there is get Mongo or, uh, I mean, any of the, uh, any of the storage or wherever you, you want to get it from, wherever is the source, you can get it from. So uh, even the, most of the time in this kind of implementation, I have seen people are getting it from MongoDB. So you can just configure get Mongo and uh, from there you can get it. So that part is not, I mean, that is a simple part. The tricky part uh, is, uh, I mean, not the tricky part, actual implementation part is the second one. So how do we convert it to CSV, a large JSON file? So this is a use case that uh, I did a POC uh, like around one year back. So in that particular case, I, am re I was receiving the JSON from one of the server. So I directly, uh, the, first, uh, the first processor was uh, get SFTP. So I used to get it from one of the server and then I used to uh, split the JSON, check it and then convert it to CSV and then uh, place it to HDFS. Okay, then second uh, use case that uh, we are seeing here is uh, uh, a healthcare data or in this hospitality data, uh, what we want to visualize is a, a patient uh, patient complained to their doctor using NIFI and solar. So uh, in this particular uh, part, like what we do is, uh, uh, you know, th there is a message generator, like uh, let's say uh, any of the medical uh, equipments that you are using uh, is like, uh, it, it generates a message, which is uh, there is a uh, H, HAPI kind of library which works as a generator. So it uh, it uh, it puts the log uh, in one of the one of the uh, I mean any of the server wherever you want. So from where uh, from there if so the actual use case here is like uh, a a doctor so uh, or at the end of the day doctors would visualize whatever the complaints there. Uh, uh, their patients are doing. So let's say uh, there are a number of patients admitted in an hospital and whatever their activities are, uh, like let's say they, they call the nurse, so they press the buzzer and the nurse arrives or the sister arrives. So those, but all those logs for their particular, uh, whatever activity they are doing, or if let's say their, uh, their, uh, their heartbeat become high. So everything, uh, each of the logs are getting generated uh, with help of this uh, message generator uh, hl man message generator 
which is a kind of utility which generates the message for each and every activity so once we get uh, that activity uh, after that we, what we will do is we use nifi as a pipeline here so it takes uh, is just uh, very similar to iot use case it takes data from there and then uh, it puts it into a, a solar uh, dashboard and from that solar da dashboard there are uh, like uh, there are keywords for each thing let's say adjustments then admitted uh complaint discharge uh, discussed like these kind of uh, keywords will be there in every message so with help of the dashboard uh, we can visualize it uh, like how many people got discharge or what was the array discharge on that particular day so i'll just show you the use case in one of the implementation so in this particular case if you see uh, this particular case the frequent symptoms uh, i mean depends upon the uh, kibana or banana chart where you are uh, visualizing but if you can say based upon the queries that you are firing and uh, based upon the uh, data uh, it can have visualization like let's say frequent symptom then you can see this kind of visualization which is a tag cloud uh, web visualization then histogram is also there which which gives the count of patients and visit date like this thing so the the actual use case here is you are trying to uh, connect uh, your uh, data pipeline through one of the servers from where it is getting message and then you are doing massaging of that data and then connecting it to solar uh, passing it to solar uh, and then visualizing it to kibana uh, kibana or i mean grafana this kind of visualization boards so this is the use case here I'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video. Please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video, please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with Intellipat.